Hi Pisces, welcome to your mid-month reading. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For the month of April, as usual, I have a special tarot offer available at a sales price, and for this month, it's called Game On. If you would like to know more details about that special offer or any other of my tarot services, just email me. Or if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do so by following the PayPal link, which is also down below. So Pisces, very important mid month, I do feel like there's a lot of life changes and life um, big questions and transitions and reflections and lessons all together that you're kind of integrating and at the same time pushing yourself to move forward. So there's this idea of a lot of things coming to you at the same time. A lot of uh, different experiences pertaining to different areas of life that apparently don't have much to do with each other, but they actually do because it's the whole of what you are learning and becoming and growing from that it's like the focal point here. It's not necessarily about the detail, the... Um, you know, uh, it's like the, the the evaluation or the analysis of um, situations one by one is actually by understanding how all of them fit, fit together and how all of them influence you the way they do and they make you stop or they or status, you know, become stagnant or they make you um, challenge or then they make you um, stimulated to grow and evolve how all of that combined affects you because there's something here about the whole of you and the whole of things you're dealing that is relevant towards where you're heading which is the char chariot some of you you'll have a chance to have the breakthrough into something you have been desiring to have a breakthrough and this is about victory this is about uh, moving forward with your plans moving forward with uh, a situation um, in which you have recently made an important choice about or commitment to following through with your commitments following through uh, with your actions with your words despite despite everything else that's going on because everything else that's going on is actually the fuel here to the chariot because I don't know if you can see clearly here in this deck, but you can see the evolution, right? The little child from the elder one, the three stages here, the three stages of growth. And this is, of course, a metaphor for the three stages of your um, spiritual evolution and the evolution that is happening in your higher from a lower place to a higher place of understanding of yourself and life and the things you have learned very deep profound also month for some of you pisces that are interested in spreading your word spreading your message some of you are uh, good mentors good teachers you have a lot of knowledge to give and gift others with to help others in this transition as well so some of you that are involved in teaching or applying um some knowledge um it's like, I feel like some of you are do this effortlessly. It's like you don't even know that you are um, teaching or, you know, bearing truth, bearing knowledge, bearing wisdom um, when you're just being yourself. But you do that. And I feel like if you would be more conscious of that aspect of your own nature, um, things would also make much more sense to you than they have made lately. Some of you have been very attached to, again, a, the details of things, the, 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 the flaws, the mistakes, the aspects of your reality and of your own nature that you don't like, that are against your wise self. It's like the wise self and the beast, right? The wise self 
the one that knows better and the one that keeps doing the same mistakes. One that it's free from addiction, one that it's completely bound to addiction. So you have been, again, dealing with two or multiple aspects of your nature and of your life that feel are a contradiction um, to your own self and to your own sanity. For some of you, it's also feeling like you have been losing a little bit of grasp or control. Sanity. And this is why the charity is here. Charity is about taking control. It's taking um, here the reign of uh, your destiny in hands. And usually it's about leading the way with both the white and the black horse. Again, representing here the duality of the light and the shadow elements that you're still dealing and controlling both so they don't control you. So you are in control of them. You are aware of them. So if some of you have been having a difficulty dealing with your either shadow or light self, I feel like more and more you will be accepting that both exist, that both are a part of you and you are learning how to handle it. Some of you, this is about learning how to handle um, yourselves and to use all that you are. Um, some of you are very have a lot of uh characters inside characters inside characters worlds inside worlds inside worlds you are very um you have a lot of um inner chambers and in 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 places where you go or where you can go and you can become someone and then you can unmask and become someone else so you have some of you pisces that are showing up here have so much um life internal life that it's outstanding and some of you can even be using that some of you that are interested in performance or dramatic arts you could be using those talents like amazingly and being very good at what you do because of your capacity to just be someone and then become someone else and then become someone else and then go back to yourself it's like a crazy um mesh here it's like your identity feels like some of you, your identities are not as fixed or as um, immutable as usually the idea or the concept of identity tends to be. So this is like a blessing and a curse that you're learning how to work with and take the most out of it. Um, in a more down-to-earth kind of energy, this is kind of um, also letting some of you Pisces know that despite uh, something you're dealing with, that it's of the devil nature, so addiction, uh, attachment, negativity, fear, being bound to a condition, like material conditioning, like debts, or um, being attached to toxic relationships or again addictions whatever it is even though there's that you're still struggling to be free from you are not stopping which means that despite your fears and your problems and the way some something negative tries to influence you the opportunity is to push forward is to keep evolving is to keep doing moving some of you um, I feel like you will be asking for advice upon the next move you should be taking, especially for Pisces that desire to take, you know, their lives somewhere else or take like a different, take your lives to a different path. Like you want to change where you live, you want to travel or you want to change your, your job or take your relationship to the next level, whatever it is that it's like a big step that it's going to influence your life. Um, big moves that you will be thinking of making. Um, you will either be asking for some advice, some counseling, because I keep getting the sense that this angel here in the back is like the guidance of the Hierophant, like pushing you, especially this is might be something that May forward as we go into May will be really a part of your 
um, a part of your what you'll be dealing with is um, taking the action towards change towards being more in control of how things do uh, things go after a piece of advice or a piece of understanding comes to you and it's like the push that you needed to go somewhere I feel like some of you want to go to a higher state it's like a, you want to be in a higher level of life you want to better the conditions of your life you want to see what's next what's the next adventure what's the next big experience what's the next challenge some of you are also a lot in this challenge me type of um energy especially pisces that have been again tied down with the devil to a lot of to a lot of um problems and darkness even a lot of fear or just a life that or situations that kind of made your feel like your life was tight right like um too small or something of your power that was um shrinking and now like with the the, the, the chariot is like the opposite it's like you're breaking the limits because you know that you can lead the way the devil was holding you right it's controlling you and then you break free from that you see no i'm in control i make my decisions i take my actions not you whatever the devil energy was for you or is for you so by doing that there's this push to actually um, meet more interesting um people job chances in life adventure some of you this is about seeking here an adventure it could be that you're thinking about starting your business or starting to spread your word out there or um starting a new relationship going after a relationship going after your dreams going after something but doing it it's like doing something actively not just thinking about it actively pursuing your goals so I hope you have a great month, a mid-month Pisces. Uh, I want to thank you so much for all of you that has been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and donating to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hopefully, we'll see each other soon.